Hey folks, Walt Biscardi back with you with another quick tip on color. And today I'm in the color effects room. And um, one question that's come up on the cow is how do I use the vignette in the color effects room? Because what happens is, you know, you drag the vignette out here and you see the vignette exactly the way you want to see it. And then you click the output and suddenly you have a white mat rather than your vignette to cut a hole and maybe place the effect in that hole. Well, that's because we have to use the alpha blend in order to correctly use the vignette. You can't just use it by itself. You actually have to blend the alpha channel of the vignette with whatever effect you want to add. So in this case, in this shot here, oh, let's go to my uh, color grade one here. I've gone ahead and graded the shot for the client, but now he's looking at the water and he said, Walt, I'd like you to add a blur to the top part of this shot so we can make the shot look longer and farther than it really is. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and throw this vignette out here. Now if I look at my output, I can see that, that map. But the first thing I'm going to do before I go ahead and add the alpha blend, I'm going to go ahead and get this shape positioned where I want it to be. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the size of it. I'm going to middle click over here and just drag left. And let's see, I'm probably going to have to change that aspect and make it more oblong. And I'm going to go into my angle and I'm just going to type a 50. Not quite enough. Let's highlight it again. Let's type a 100. Ah, a little bit too far. Ah, about an 85. Ah, that looks pretty darn close. Again, I'm going to middle click. I'm going to use my Y center. Going to move it up. Put it up here somewhere. Let's see. Ah, right about there. It's pretty good. Now we're going to soften the heck out of it. Make it real nice and soft. And now that it's soft, I see, you know what? I want to bring it back down just a smidgen. So now this area right here is the area that I will be affecting when I use my vignette. But again, if I click here on the output, this is, this is actually what's going out to the monitor. This is not what we want to see. So I'm going to move all the way up to the top here and grab my alpha blend and drag that down. And on the alpha blend, you have source 1, source 2, and alpha. You actually want the vignette to be attached over here to the alpha. Let me go ahead and grab that, drag that down in there. Now, the vignette is actually cutting a hole. Now when I click on my output, you can actually see the entire video image. Whatever I go ahead and put in the source one, source two, is going to go inside this vignette. So in this case, let's just go ahead and bring the blur over. And I'm going to attach the blur to source one. And let's go ahead and just turn it up to an extreme number, say five. Now you notice when I've got the blur highlighted, the entire image blurs out. But now I come down to my output. Oh, now look at that. I want to actually affect inside the vignette, not outside the vignette. So I come back to my vignette and I click on invert. Now we go back to our output and look, now I'm just blurring what's going on inside here. So I'm not quite happy with where that is. Let's go ahead and bring that down again. Bring it down more like that. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Uh, so you move it back up just a smidgen. Go ahead and click on the output. And again, that's an extreme example. I'll bring it back down to two, make it a lot less. And there we go. Now I've got a little bit of blur hanging on out here that I didn't have before. And the rest of the picture is unaffected. So that's how you have to use the vignette. You take the vignette, you use the alpha blend, you bring the vignette to the alpha, you bring your effect to the sources, and then when you look at your output, you've got what you want. Hey, and if you like this tip, I've got a lot more on our new DVD that's coming out called Stop Staring, Start Grading with Color. It's about two hours of material. I go completely in-depth on the entire interface. So, hey, if you want more information on color, that's where you get it. I'm Walt Biscardi. Have yourself a great day.